Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a Mila Kunis wearable makeup look. So I kind of toned it down, so I took two pictures. One of her like glamorous like red carpet look, and then I took another one that was like a more natural look from her, and I'll put them in right after this intro. And yeah, so I just combined them, and this is what it looked like. And yeah, so here's just the overall makeup look. I think it's really wearable. Um, you can switch out the lip color. I just know that she wears a lot of nude lipstick. And yeah, so um, this is just the look. Um, if you want to see how to do this, please watch the tutorial. And if you enjoyed this or you have any other requests of video um, tutorials or any just requests at all, just leave them down below and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So here's the more glamorous red carpet look, and then here's the more natural look. So I'm just going to combine these both to make a really nice, natural, everyday look. So this is the first step is to clip your hair out of your face because you do not want to get foundation in your face. It will not look pretty. So here I'm just using a bobby pin to clip it on my face. So the next thing is to apply primer. So you have a smooth base here. I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. And I'm just rubbing that all over my face with clean fingers. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply foundation. I'm not going to use a darker foundation because this is a natural foundation. So I'm just using one to color my skin. And I'm using the Revlon Naked Skin Foundation. And this is in the shade Vanilla. I will have all the products that I use linked down below. And here I'm just using my Real Techniques foundation brush. So now I'm just blending it in with my fingers for a more natural finish. The next thing you want to do is apply lip balm so you will have a smooth... Um, base to work with when you apply lip color. So the next thing you're going to do is apply concealer to your any problem areas. Now I'm just using my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer on my under eyes and any problem areas such as acne and pimples. The next thing you're going to do is apply highlighter because even if um, Mila has a very natural look, she always has a very dewy finish and it's really pretty. So now you're just going to blend your um, highlighter because I am using a liquid, liquid highlighter. You can use a powder one if you enjoy or just skip this step altogether because some people like a more matte finish, but yeah. So um, next thing I'm going to do is apply setting powder and I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm using an Eco Tools brush and just buffing that all around my face. Next thing I'm going to do is to contour my face to look more like Mila's. So Mila has a stronger contour in her um, cheeks and then she um, has a different type of nose. So I just apply two stripes to the bridge of my nose to look more like, like hers. So now I'm using bronzer to set that um, contour and then I'm just adding extra warmth to my face because as you all know, Mila is much tanner than I am. Next thing I'm going to do is ap apply shimmery highlight on my cheekbones. Um, as in an addition to the highlighter and now between the highlighter and the contour I'm just adding a dusty warm blush because that's um, a look that I see Mila wear constantly. Now I'm just blending that out for a more natural finish. Now I'm going to softly define browns because even if Mila is having a red carpet look her brows are actually always softly defined so here I'm just combing them out so they're more softly defined. Now I'm using a metallic eyeshadow base because she tends to have metallic eyeshadow and it's usually a bronzy color. So here I'm just using my Maybelline uh, color tattoo as a base in the color Brad to the Bronze. Now I'm applying a highlight to my inner corners and with a rose gold undertone because in the inspiration photo she did have like a very like icy pink um, highlight in her inner corners. Now I'm going to bring that same color onto the inner portion of my eyelids for a more warm look. I mean a warmer look. Okay. Now I'm just applying cool brown all over the lids for a nice base. Here I'm using my Naked 3 palette and I go back to my Naked 1 palette. So I'm going to list all the colors that I use from all these palettes um, down below because they're all um, Urban Decay palettes. So here I'm just blending with a MAC blending brush for a more natural finish. Now we're going to define our crease for um, a more defined look. Here I'm just using a darker brown color. 
still chose to hide. Now, now I'm just going to apply copper color all over for a nice blended wash. Mila tends to have copper eyeshadow on all the time because of her beautiful bluish green eyes. So that is just what I'm doing, applying the copper color. Now I'm just blending that out with my blending brush for MAC. And then I'm blending again with my blending brush for MAC all over just to have a more natural finish because this is a mixer. This is a more like an everyday full coverage look. So the next thing I'm going to do is re-highlight all those places that I highlight such as my inner corners and my brow bone. And yeah, just so I can have um, a nicer look. So now I'm applying a dark shadow on the my lash line and I am just doing it to define my eyes. She is very known for her smudged out eyeliner so it's for a more natural look. Now we're applying a cool brown on the lower eyelashes. Now I'm taking that same dark eyeshadow and I'm putting it close to my lower lash line for a more defined eye look. I decided not to apply eyeliner on my lower uh, waterline because this is a more natural look and she does not always wear it, so yeah. Um, I am retapping my lids with that beautiful copper color just for an extra glow. Then I'm going to blend all of this with a white matte shade and I'm just using Vanilla by MAC and I'm just blend it, blending it for a more natural look. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Wet n Wild eyeliner that's very dull and dry and I'm just going to smudge out the eyeliner with it. So, so next thing I'm going to do is tightline my eyes with an Urban Decay um, eyeliner. I think that's Urban Decay. Next I'm going to apply my Kat Von D liquid eyeliner to my lash line for a more defined look. I'm doing this very thin and very close to my lash line because she does not look like she has a parent liquid eyeliner but she definitely has a defined lash line. The next thing I'm going to do is use my Sally Hands and Eyelash Curler and just curl my lashes for a big wide eyed look. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply mascara for a, a more defined look. She's very known for her bold lashes. So here I'm just using the Maybelline Great Lash I, um, Great Lash Mascara in the original. Um, um, I definitely think that you could rock big eyelashes with it. But, you know, Mila, this is a natural, more natural look. So um, we're just going to stick with the mascara for today. So I just used my Maybelline, my, not Maybelline, um, I used my Urban Decay Curling Mascara. And now I'm just cleaning up any mistakes that I might have made with my mascara because we did put a lot of mascara. So Mila kind of rocks many different um, lip looks. So we're just going, I'm just going to align my lips to my natural lip color. And then up over and I'm going to apply nude lips. Like you can really change out the lip color to any lip color you want because she does not have a set lip color. Um, here I'm just using a matte um, MAC nude lipstick. Um, I'm going to link it down below. And now I'm just going to add some shine. I'm using this for lip gloss. Um, nothing big deal. So yeah. So that was the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any tutorial requests or anything to help improve my videos. Comment down below. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Um, so here's just the finished look on my eyes and the lip look. And um, as you can see, my nose is defined. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any video requests. And that is it. So that's the tutorial. Um, also, um, comment down below what color you would classify my hair as, if it's blonde or brunette. Please let me know. I am actually very curious. So thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so I also want to um, give a shout out to my friend Noah and all of her music is here. I'm going to link it down below and her music is amazing and that's why it's in my video. Thanks for watching.